But today I thought I would come on and do a little painting kind of in the style of this one here. So we'll do it on a wine glass though, but not exactly with all the details. We'll just kind of keep this element of the trees there. So if you can, uh, if you're seeing me on the replay, put replay. If you are seeing me live, say hi and uh, let me know what's going on with you today. So I'll just keep this one over here for inspiration for myself. Maybe I'll just put it right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my wine glass and the colors I'm gonna use today are white and black. And then also we're gonna use multi-surface paint, uh, paints from Folk Art. I think DecoArt has them too. Um, it's just whatever you have on hand. I just happen to have it. So I've got Juneberry. It's kind of this nice warmer um, paint, purple paint, and then eggplant. And then I also have moon yellow, which is perfect because I'm going to paint a little moon on this. Um, as far as brushes, we're actually going to start with these pouncers. Um, these are from also from Folk Art, I think, and you can get a whole bunch in one little set, and they're they're pretty good price too. Um, so let's start with this this size. I'd say it's about one inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then I haven't decided on my brushes yet, but I have a couple liner brushes and then a number six round from this brand. As I don't know if you know this, but I'm sure you do, but every paint brush company has a different numbering system. So you can never have it exactly what you think you're getting. So um, just a little tip there. <laughs> so let's grab this pouncer and I'm not gonna wet it or anything. I'm gonna go and start right at the top. So we're gonna get a little bit of white on here. You can put it right on that pouncer and there's a ton of paint. That is way too much. I'm gonna pull off some of it right here. And then this is uh, from other painting times. So I'm just gonna offload a little bit so it is not quite so thick. Good morning, Delaney. Good morning, Faye. Nice to see you here. I hope I said your name right, Delaney. Um, some people like to paint all the way up to the top of the glass. It doesn't matter. If you are okay with um, that part being painted, then you can leave it. But if you want to just have a little lip there, just like a maybe a half inch or a little less maybe, start about here with your white. So I started down a little bit. I'm going to just we're going to create a, a like a, a ombre kind of look. So I'm going to start and just very lightly, I don't have very much paint on my um, my pouncer. I'm going to just come around. Have you ever used these pouncers? Um, Erica says it would be nice if they could get all together and number the brushes the same. Yes. Yes. Why is there no industry standard, right? I'm going to just rest my hand on here and hopefully I'll, I'll at least for now, if I put it down while I'm twisting it, it will um, some of that paint will come off and then it's not the best effect. So I'm just, you could just do one half at once, but of course I like to make life difficult, right? But maybe you can't see it. So I'll just put this here. I don't know. It's just nice for resting my arm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, so it's kind of a fun little thing. You could do this fairly quickly. It's not like a canvas, but it, uh, glass does act a little differently than canvas. So I used just a little bit of that white paint all the way around and I kind of created a hazy look. Can you see that? Just a hazy look all the way around. And I don't want it to be like a straight line or anything. You could, if you wanted to, you could grab some painter's tape or something like that. But the fact that I hardly have any paint on here is allowing me to do that kind of light floating look. That's just like a haze, a little bit of fog, something like that. You can even come up a little bit now and you probably won't see too much paint coming off, but you'll see a little bit. I'm going to go to this Juneberry right now. So just a little less now. I did not wash it off. I'm just going to go right to that Juneberry. So I just dipped into that white a little bit. So I'm going to go for a little lighter color here.
just dip it into that white a little bit, a little more Juneberry. Let's try like this white band up here. I'm gonna have to think about that. So I'm going to dip in just full strength into that Juneberry and I'm going to overlap a little bit here. So I'm just coming and making these layers and they're not completely blending with whatever is there before, but if it's too much, I can always go back. I'm not sure I'm liking that. I'm going to use up some of this paint and then come back. So I'm going to come back over here. All right. Yeah, perfect. Hand wash only. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate that. Okay. Actually, I don't mind. What do you think? Do you like that more uh, dramatic look? If you don't like it, you can always come in and pounce just a little bit, but it is a little hard. Sometimes you can come back in with your finger and just tap a little bit. I do love these pouncers. They're really, really fun to get this ombre look. It's not 100% of an ombre. You would have to do probably a smaller area to keep blending down at one time, but um, I don't mind this look either. And it's such a perfect color, right? <laughs> it's so pretty. It's um, I'm getting inspired by one of the designs in the club. Um, I cut off my canvases because I don't have room to store a whole bunch. So I just cut them off and then I have them for myself if I want to display them in a frame or something like that. But um, that's just an idea. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of the eggplant and a little bit of that Juneberry. A little more eggplant, I think. That's slightly different purple, a little darker. Okay, I'm just going strictly to, I like, I think it's just a little t bit too blended, so I'm just going to grab that eggplant color too. So um, really pretty, even just like that, right? That would be really um, cool. You could even go with a little black. Let me go with a little teeny bit of black. Okay. I'll just get some black on there and we'll just come right. This is a little big for this. You could do the stem. I think I'll just leave the stem though so I can hang on to it. I'm just going to tap in a little black right at the bottom. Let's 
So if you did this and you didn't want to do a tree or a moon like I'm going to show you, you could just keep it like this and look how pretty that would be for um, like a Halloween party or a fall party. It would be fun, right? Just to have that. Okay, so there we go. Look how pretty that is. You guys like it? Let me know if you like it. And I'm going to just wet, oops, I'm going to get paint all over. Like I got that. I was going to rub my nose. Okay. I'm going to dip that in there and I'm just going to set that over on the right side. We're just getting a little inspired by these crazy branches today and we're going to paint on this wine glass. So I did the first um, part of it, the ombre, and I'm going to grab a clean one. Maybe I'll get a bigger one. Let's see. I had some of these when they were from Martha Stewart, but I'm not sure. Is this one Martha Stewart? Yeah, this one's a Martha Stewart. That would make a really good moon size. You can get these on Amazon too. You don't have to get these, but since I'm a little um, uh, prone to getting paint all over myself, um, I already did that. <laughs> I'm going to just get this bigger one and make the moon, make it easy on myself. So let me grab a little bit of the white and I'm going to come to a cleaner area, but I'm going to put this down for a sec. So just taking that white and just coming over here and getting it onto my pouncer. And that one is going to be a problem, I think. I'm going to take a little yellow on here and bring it over by this white and just partially blend it in. So I have it partially blended. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens, okay? So don't feel like it has to be a certain way. I'm going to just get a little more on part of it, and we'll see how it works. Okay, let me find a spot I like. Maybe right here I've got a little more. So I'm going to set this down. I think it's dry now. And then I'm going to put this kind of right in this area. I'm going to have my tree come over it. So I'm going to push and just do a little twist. Not too much because it will pull off the paint underneath. Oh, look at it. So easy, right? Isn't that pretty? And I kind of like having a little purple coming through because it just looks like it's a shadow onto the moon. Super easy, right? So I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to dip into the water and set that aside. So let me grab my dryer and I will dry this off real quick. All right, so now let's talk about these brushes. I'm going to probably use this, this one, this number six, to go and do my tree trunk and just some, some of the branches. And then I'm going to try one of these liner brushes. I don't know if you've ever used these, but when you load them up with some liquidy paint and you you just get that nice pull of the we'll brush. See. Okay, now I can set this here and let me grab, I think I'm going to pour a little fresh black paint just because this has been sitting for a bit. Okay, get my brush wet, wipe it off, and then load up. I think I'll just make it a little bit more fluid just so I don't have it dragging at all. If you have it liquidy enough, liquidy. I know that's a bad word. If it's a liquid, if it has enough liquid in it, it will give you a better result for this kind of thing for the branches. All right. So let me get a little more paint on there now. Let me think how I want to do this. I think I'm going to bring, just going to start here, kind of have a branch go over this way. So I'm going to bring my brush here. I'm going to wobble my hand a little bit. So it's a little bit like a, a creepier tree. Okay. So this is a great time if you don't have a steady hand, you can make it work. All right, and then I'm going to have one, I'm going to make this trunk a little bit wider and make it a even more creepy looking. Maybe I'll bring this out a little bit here. And then you can just fill in the bottom. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. I could make a cat. That would be really cute. <laughs> it's a weird looking cat at this point though, right? Okay, <laughs> so and then I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring this one over a little bit and off. So I might not even need my smaller brush, but we'll see, because this one's got a nice point on it. I'll come and make this a little fatter here and maybe I'll bring this, I've got a new branch starting here apparently. Just see what happens. Every time you do it, it's going to look a little different. You can't predict something in nature as far as how it's going to look. So 
We try not to stress out about this kind of stuff. Okay, and then I'm gonna have one coming up here and over. So I'll just start coming over and I'm avoiding up here because I'm gonna leave that for drinking. And that drinking, that sounds bad, but you know what I'm saying. Um, for being able to drink off the top without touching the paint. All right, a little more water in here. I should stop working on the branches. I need to focus. <laughs> so now I'm going to come back in here, get more paint, pull and twist my brush. And let's see, I'm going to bring, I'll start here and then I can fill in a little bit. Let's bring this one. I'm kind of looking at my example over. So it's a, not perfect right now for sure. So I've got that, but I like this since it's a kind of a creepy tree, you can be a little unsteady and it's not going to make any difference it's not going to cause an issue right uh, let's do one over here we'll bring this one out a little bit here and we can come across the moon there a little bit probably I'll have to switch to my other brush in a minute I'm going to fill this in a little bit make this a little thicker there but not do too much get a little more water on here Okay, and then let's go ahead and we'll, let's extend this one actually. We'll make it a little bit longer, maybe not quite as long as that one because that one's a little lower. So we'll just kind of, we could keep on going with this honestly and just going crazy, right? Um, I guess the main trick I would give you for this, for these to get that nice point is to have it fairly loose. Your paint shouldn't be super thick. Pull and twist your brush so you have a nice point and then just kind of release as you go at the end. But everybody has a different way of doing it. So if you have a better way, absolutely do it the way you like it. Um, let me see if I want to do a little more up here. Maybe I'll bring this up here bring this over here a little wider. So always wider at the base too. If you look at a branch, a tree branch is going to be wider, closer to the trunk. And the branches are going to be wider when they're closer to the trunk as well. So if you remember those little tips, you should be uh, golden. So you can see how that one got a little thick there. So maybe I will switch. I think I'll just make some fine branches. I'm going to grab my, what is this one? A zero liner. All right, so let's come in here and I'll just bring that out a little bit. This might be a little bit hard to fix this one, but there we go. So you could just keep on playing with this. So now um, I would just kind of think, let's see, do we like this? What do you think? Maybe I should focus a little more over here on the moon. We'll just come in and we'll bring some coming off. So instead of having them like one on this side and one on that side, I'm going to come up a little bit and have one coming off. It just makes it look a little more organic that way. And you could have these kind of like being curly like this. Some of these are. So I guess I kind of forgot about that part when I was, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to do a treat. I'm on this live. I'm not going to mess up. Right. Um, so <laughs> just do whatever you want. Okay. Um, try it out and see what happens. This is a little skinny here. So I'll come over and then off there. Coming up here. Down. Just leave a little a gap where you're going to do your next one 
and then if you need to go back and fix anything you can just think about making it a little wider at the base of these and basically that's you have this Y shape right do you see the little Y and um, you can do a lot with this okay so I could make one kind of curly here but I'm gonna make it a little bumpy curly okay there we go that's fun right and you could come in and highlight this too or you could just keep it super simple what do you guys think should I add highlights or leave it what do you think so and I'm not even gonna really worry about attaching these completely since this is my um, fun creepy tree here you could do it <laughs> however you like we'll do one over here maybe I'll just make that a wiggly one wiggle your brush a little bit see how that one turned out kind of fun all right highlights or are we good I think I should just stop while I'm ahead I kind of like it but you could add highlights for this all right let me look at it I should add just a little bit over here a little more water I think I could probably stop. You could come in with some mist later, whatever you wanted. Um, I know you could just go crazy here, right? And keep on going. <laughs> that, set, that tends to be something I, I keep going and doing, but I hope you like this. Hope it's kind of fun and you got some inspiration 